So that was our long little wooded walkway. And now we're up to something, the entrance to the Medford Boat Club. Recreational amenities. Ah, it's a boat launch area. I'm up at that dam. I saw from over there somewhere. We're at the spillway, and there is a feeding frenzy. Gulls in the front and cormorants forming a kind of back line. This looks fairly new. I don't remember in the 70s, but it's probably the last time I was here. So this is part of the DCR. They even have the no fishing admonitions in Vietnamese from families that used to come here and scoop up herring by the bucket load. They don't want you around there, it's dangerous. The people are swimming here, there's a little beach. Stuff and the boathouse. I'm not sure how psyched I'd be to swim in here, but it's probably not bad. See if we can get a better look at those. Let's see if we can get a better look at those gulls and things. <laughs> yeah, this is all relatively new work. I wonder how long it'll last. <laughs> There's some stuff they're not done with yet, I guess. Seagull feeding frenzy. Jeez. It's like the herring run is mostly over. It doesn't seem to dissuade them. At least they're cooling their heels. Probably hoping for a second run. Hope springs eternal. Cambridge's 
beloved social realist art, only functional, but more fun. So we're here, and I'm gonna go ultimately goes all the way up to Andover. And the last side of the cool old building. Yeah, we're soon to be encountering the point where the Aber Jonah drains into this thing. That there is the upper Mystic Lake. This is the lower. And of course, oh, the seagulls have found some other distraction. And so, there's our way to the dam and the boathouse. our trek up towards the Aberjona confluence. See some of the old dam work stuff. Cut more decayed stuff. And a chipmunk. There's always a chipmunk. I got some old weird hobbit stuff here. <laughs> kind of a emergency flood drainage tunnel or something. <laughs> the water's kind of scuzzy. I'm not sure how enthused I'd be about swimming in it. Who knows? It's probably fine. And there's the little forest vernacular trail going this way going that way lots of little white cabbage butterfly-ish things don't know what they are Greenway heads this way. Yeah, there's a little bluff. Some high ground. This is extra capacity parking lot. across the street. Vehicles exploded. Say it ain't so. So yeah, it's mostly the roadside bicycle and jogger strip that's been here forever it can just get a new purpose applied to it and fulfill that now we'll see how far 
we end up going along the upper lake. See if we can't get to the Aberjana. Oh, the best part about all this is finding the cool little pit stop places. Having looked over my stuff, maps and so forth, I've concluded that the more interesting thing to do today will be to head over to Shepherd Brooks properties which lie across the street that way. This is a little bluff that's just to the north of the entrance road to the Medford Boathouse, the dividing point between the lower and upper Mystic Lakes. I'm looking over things. I think rather than spend more time following the lakes, it'll be worth it to explore these relatively nearby properties. Shepherd Brooks is an old oligarchy estate, kind of like the woods of Medford, if one could dare imagine such a thing. And some of the Brooks estate sprattled over into Winchester. We're kind of in the border zone of the two towns. So the town of Winchester has some of the Brooks stuff too and calls it a town forest. So this should be interesting to explore. And it'll work out with all the other factors too. From there I'll work my way back to a bus stop.